Hi, I'm Christian. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. We are doing a thrift haul today. It was crazy, it's nuts. I got a lot of stuff to show you. Actually, I'm also gonna throw in some Skims sale haul items as well. And I still have not shared that on here. I shared it on TikTok. So let's go through everything. But before we begin, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I am going to do a giveaway today in this video because I hit 500 subscribers and I'm so excited and so grateful. So there will be a giveaway winner announced at the very end of this video, the very end slide. And don't forget to subscribe right now because I will be doing another giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Let's get started. There's a lot to go through. Let me do my skins first and then I'll do my thrifted items. So on this side of the screen, I will actually show y'all what they look like on so you won't miss out on the try on aspect of this haul first we have actually the color is called rose clay it's a bodysuit i've been waiting to get this color because every time i see it on their website i think man it looks so pretty love the color a lot of the other styles that i wanted sold out in this color it's a cotton ribbed tank top bodysuit i actually already have one from misguided in a camel color so i kind of knew what the vibe was gonna look like. I would recommend it. Maybe if it's not in your price range, you can find some good dupes on this style, but I would recommend it. I like this bodysuit. I like the shape and I especially like that like, it's not too tight. The straps aren't too loose. That was the main thing with the misguided one. Sometimes when I move around, the straps slide around and stuff, but like the straps on this is not as loose, which is great for wear. In size medium, again, in the rose clay. Next, I have this leather, faux leather bodysuit that I got. I got it in the black color. I think they call it onyx but it's just black and this is in a size medium as well i've been also waiting to get this i honestly wanted it in the more camel color but i thought i'd start with the black leather see how i liked it then i would go ahead and get another color down the road this i actually will be wearing for a date night as well so i'll have more info to share later about whether or not i liked wearing it as time went on there isn't leather on the bottom of course it's just like a bodysuit on the bottom has this nice zipper I really like that uh, this is good quality which is nice to see because when you get faux leather some people really be making it like fake fake but this is a decent quality faux leather top then we have some PJs I have this sleep tank I don't know if I'll do a try on on the side just because I usually wear it without a bra. It's not super see-through, it just the way it fits is maybe not as appropriate for the internet if you catch what I'm saying. Uh, but it is really cute and comfy to wear. Oh, by the way, this is in the color Jasper. I did end up getting a medium in this, but I really could have gotten a large just because it's fitted. And honestly, at nighttime, I don't necessarily want super fitted clothing. So I could have gotten a large, but I was on the fence and went ahead with a medium in the color Jasper. And with it, I I also got the sleep shorts and these are in a large, they fit kind of large though. So in this, I do wish I went down to a medium. It probably would have been better to put it in a medium. It's not bad, it still fits. It's just a little bit looser than I prefer. There is this drawstring, which actually is on the inside, not the outside, which is actually kind of nice. Can, if you want, roll the hem. It's a very thick waistband. And this is actually in the color Coco, which is the color that I wanted this in. They didn't have a medium in Coco. I really like these, they're super comfortable. I would have sized down, but it's not like a deal breaker that these are large. That was all the skim stuff. I also got this shirt at H&M like a week before that. I just never, I still have not worn it out because I'm still trying to figure out these strings, y'all. <laughs> And I had them when I tried it on because it was already tied the right way. But then when I got home, it was not tied the right way anymore. So <laughs> I was struggling to figure out how to wrap it. So I'm gonna figure it out again. I actually liked the shirt. It's a little out of my comfort zone and the strings make it a little more complex, but overall it's pretty good. The only part I didn't like when I tried it on in store was the neckline it ends up narrowing instead of staying out. So I don't know if you would have to like push the the sleeves off your shoulders a little to make that not so narrow. But that's the one thing I ran into when I tried it on in store. Now let's go through all the thrifted items. I got a lot. First, I wanna show you these shoes. They're super cute. So I got these. These are my first heels in years. 
I don't love heels, to be honest. I am very more like tomboy style, but I think there's a way that I can style this that's still a little more tomboy. So I thought I would get a little out of my comfort zone, and that's kind of been the theme this year, is getting a little out of my comfort zone. And I actually love these. They look great on. I thrifted these at a consignment store. They are fairly new looking to me, and they still had the foam insert, so I don't know if someone bought them, changed their mind, put the foam back in, and then sold them at a consignment store or what the deal was, but they're in great condition. Next up in shoes is something y'all should not be surprised I got, <laughs> and that's these. That's right, I finally got some actual Nike sneakers. Not my dupes, but some actual ones. These are size seven and a half, and when I say these fit perfectly, I mean, I slipped my foot in and it was basically like I already owned them. Like they fit so well. Man, did I really like these shoes the second I saw them. They're in great condition. I don't know who owned them before me, but they kept them fairly clean for however long they had them. I mean, it's incredible. Um, these actually were only, by the way, the booties were about $18. These were only 38, which was an exceptional price for <laughs> Nike sneakers of any style. Usually these retail around 100 bucks minimum, so that is insane. Uh, well worth it, so I'm gonna try my best to keep these super clean. We'll see how that works out. But I love these shoes, I really do. And I'm so glad I got them, and y'all know I will. I will be wearing. And for the last accessory, I got this Kate Spade purse. Now I'm gonna link as many dupes or exact copies below as I possibly can. This I already know is not available anymore. It retailed for $2.98. I got this for only $64 consignment. I think it was available last year or maybe the year before. It's no longer available, not even this sh shape anymore. They have something similar that's like knotted in the middle, which I'll have that linked below, but this color is fairly unique. This is the Cameron Street Birdie. Kate Spade New York bag. There are other versions of this that are currently being sold at outlet sites or on Poshmark. You can find this exact one on Poshmark for about 80 bucks right now. So maybe I'll link that one and one of y'all could snag that one up real fast. This actual color is not common anymore. There is one version that's black, white, and camel colored, and there's a plum one. Uh, I think actually I saw a lot of plum ones available. So if you want this, Go check that out, learn that as soon as you can. Again, it's the Cameron Street Birdie bag. It's a crossbody. And it's, this is in great condition. I mean, near perfect condition. Whoever had this, they took great care of it. I was on the fence about this because I'm not a very purse type person, but I knew that I could put this with some things and worst case scenario, if I didn't like it, I could resell it and that'd be, I'd be fine with that. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it out with an outfit. And I think this is gonna be one of those things that like you're iffy on and then it wears on you and you end up loving it. I'm excited about this bag. Again, I'm not super into purses. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this pocket in the back. I'm not super into purses, but when I am into purses, same thing with like watches and accessories. I'm not big on a lot of accessories, but when I find something that's good, like it's good. Ooh, as far as clothes go, let's do tops and then bottoms. The first top I'll show you is this top from Patrons of Peace. I only got it for 12 bucks. It's a little crop top with a tie in the back that kind of helps cinch the front together so it's not super loose. It does have a little cleavage movement with like the way it plunges down. I liked that for date night and that's kind of the goal the past weekend. My husband and I went out to like four or five different thrift stores and consignment shops. And my main goal was cute stuff to wear more for dates than just hanging out at home. I really enjoyed the shirt. Again, it was 12 bucks. It's a size large. I don't know if I'll find a dupe, but if I do, I will link it below. Next, I have this like seafoam green tank top with a little ruffle hem at the bottom. It does not have a clothing brand tag in it. So I couldn't tell you what brand it was. According to this, it's a medium. 
medium and I would say that's about accurate it fit like a medium I thought this was gonna be like really cropped like right under my boobs but it actually is perfect I was actually pleasantly surprised by this and ended up loving it it was only eight dollars so really good price next we have this top again out of my comfort zone it actually fit really well it was a little loose to be honest and that was actually partially why i was so iffy on it i tried it on twice <laughs> and my husband and i were talking about it and he said oh, if you want to go for it go for it and maybe it could maybe slightly shrink in the wash or something hopefully not too much it is loose enough that if i were to wash it and it shrunk i might be satisfied as long as it doesn't shrink too far Orig it's originally a size large i believe but let me double check yeah so it's a size large from the brand called jolie and joy cute little white tank top dress it up or dress it down put a jacket or a blazer over it if i wanted to Put it with denim shorts even put it with a pair of pants i'm going to show y'all in a second semi versatile so it was a nice kind of let's try something new piece then we have this princess poly top it is a long sleeve so it's not really made for this season but i like it it has these like cinch ties that you can tie the front with and at first i was iffy on it because of the way I tied it. But I think if I play with the ties a little more, I will like it even more. It's thinner, as you can probably see, it's out of this thinner material. So it's definitely more a spring or fall top, but it's a lot of fun. And it's in a cream color, which y'all know I love my neutrals. So it is the perfect addition to my lineup of clothes. It has just enough flair to it that adds personality but it's not way over the top so i really like this shirt and i also really love princess polly let me just say i ordered a tank top from princess polly which i should have showed y'all that too and i'll put a picture up here of it i love this tank top the second i saw it i knew i had to have it and i actually put it in my cart forgot about it went back two weeks later tried to add something else to my cart forgot about it for another week put it back check it back again it's still there still in sale in my size and i got it and I have to say, when I unpacked that order, all I got was that tank top and some blue light glasses, but the quality of these items, the quality of the order, the packaging being compostable, like Princess Polly, I'm talking to y'all. I hope you get this memo somehow. I'm speaking it out into the interwebs. Y'all, <laughs> y'all can always contact me. Understand? You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all. The last top is a casual top and I just found this spur of the moment. I'm not super into tie-dyed things. This is a kind of acid wash Balenciaga shirt. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know a lot about Balenciaga. I don't know if this is how it was originally made or if someone did it themselves or what, but I like this shirt. It's different out of my comfort zone, but still within my style. I'm kind of like a, I already picture wearing this with some biker shorts or with some black denim shorts and some sneakers. And if I had cargo pants, which I've been trying to find, but if I had cargo pants, I would put these with them in a heartbeat. This was only 16 bucks. It's extra large, but it fits like just loosely enough on me that it's not swimming on me. So now let's move on to bottoms. <laughs> I definitely was trying to get some shorts that fit me a little better. The ones that I got fit all right, but they kept riding on up. They had the gift of rising from the depth into the unknown, and I was not excited about it. <laughs> so I said, let me try to find some more shorts that fit better this way because they were covering my butt, but they were also riding on up in them anyway. Riding on up into other places they shouldn't be. I found these, actually I think, no, these aren't the same brand. This brand, they had like four or five different shorts in my section. This actually had tags on it, but I took the tags off already because I wore it once already. I like these shorts. They're so comfy. They fit just right not too much booty hanging out you know but still wear enough they have distressed legs on each side but like my butt won't be hanging out from the bottom this brand i still don't know how to pronounce it but i'll show you all the tag so if you know what that brand is comment below and tell me because i think it's can chin or kun chun i don't know can can that's my guess i don't really know <laughs> but they had a bunch of shorts in that section and i snagged these 
I also got these shorts, which also still have their tag on them. I have not worn them yet, but I have tried them on and they fit great. The same sort of thing. They have a ridge on the bottom, <laughs> but they're distressed on the front enough that there's some flair to it. They're not boring old shorts. The pockets are a decent size. Of course, not the greatest, but for women, we know we never have great pockets, but the back pockets are great. The brand is called Denim Boulevard. This is a size large. Of course, I've never heard of the brand, but they're only $14, which is exceptional. Such a great deal. Then I have this pair of orange pants. They are more bell bottom at the bottom, which is not my normal thing. When I slipped them on, they were actually very comfy. They're a little loose, which was also a shocker. I think this says it's a size for only $6. There is no tag on the inside, so I couldn't tell you the brand or the actual exact size. And this doesn't say anything on it. But they're real comfy. They are definitely out of my comfort zone. They're more feminine, but I think I can wear these multiple ways. I've seen the girlies wearing some more bell bottom flowy pants with a T on top and some sneakers. So I'm gonna see if that works with these. Also, I wore this with that white knitted tank top when I tried it on and that looked kind of cute together, but they are both a little loose, so I felt a little weird in it. But I do like these pants and I think I could do a lot with them if I let myself explore a little bit. Other than that, the only other bottoms I got were actually PJ bottoms, which I will still show you. They are kind of on a large side, but that's okay. These are from H&M and they have tigers on them. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they are a blush color, almost the same color as the rose clay bodysuit from Skims with brown pattern on top. And I thought it would work perfectly with the Skims sleep tank. Just put them together. It's only $10. It's from H&M size large. I will try to find it and link it perfect for the summertime because we ain't trying to be hot in our beds. Okay, girlies? So that is all that I got. I'm looking at the piles in front of me and I'm like, wow, I did actually get a lot of new clothes. Comment with your favorite look below. Don't forget to look in the description box. Last but not least, the giveaway winner of the Sephora gift card giveaway is... Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you watch the video at the top of the screen. It is supposed to be the best one for you. I cannot wait to see you in that video. So I will see you soon.